नमस्कार वेलकम टू द डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग ऑफ इंडिया मिटोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट ऑन ट्वेंटी एथ नवम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री द मई अब्जर्व वेदर फॉर एस्टडे वॉज तमिलनाडु एंड मध्य महाराष्ट्र हेज रिसीव हेवी रेनफॉल डिस्ट्रिक पूंदी इन तिरवल्लू डिस्ट्रिक्ट हेज रिसीव नाइन सेंटीमीटर्स एंड जामनेर डिस्ट्रिक्ट जलगांव इन मध्य महाराष्ट्र रिसीव सेवन सेंटीमीटर्स ऑफ रेनफॉल हाईलाइट्स ऑफ द टूडेज वेदर और thunder storm activity accompanied with heavy rainfall is likely going to occur in isolated places of chatisgarh and vidarbha and then decrease thereafter low, a low the low pressure system lies over south andaman sea a, a fresh western disturbance is likely to affect the western himalayan region from the midnight of 29th november so coming to the synoptic systems observed as you can clearly see the low pressure area is lying over the south andaman sea it will further going to be intensified and form into a depression in the coming on 30th of november and further intensify into a cyclonic storm during the subsequent 48 hours a cyclonic circulation is also present over the sri lankan coast a one more cyclonic circulation is present over the uh, so- south arabian sea and if a western disturbance is located at 75 degrees east and 20 degrees north which is causing a trough and the cyclo and an induced cyclonic circulation is found over the middle parts of uh, middle parts of gujarat uh, adjoining madhya pradesh and pakistan coming to the forecast warning for the next 5 days you can see that uh, there is a hail warning for the chatisgarh and vidarbha for today and hail, and also rainfall warning for the east madhya pradesh fog is also likely going to occur today night and tomorrow morning over the northwestern parts of india and also uttar pradesh uh, for 29th tomorrow you have the heavy rainfall warning for tamil nadu and andaman and on 30th you have the heavy rainfall warning for kerala andaman and tamil nadu regions and also on 1st october the this system is going to continue this under the influence of this depression by the time uh, you have the heavy rainfall warning for again kerala tamil nadu and andaman uh a, a trough is going to form in the easterlies in the from the south arabian sea coast to the north maharashtra which will cause an interaction between the mid level westerlies and the low level easterlies this will cause thunderstorm and shower activities over over the central parts of india on 29 30 31 and 1st so uh, yeah as as mentioned earlier the easterlies low pressure system which is present uh, in the south andaman sea and adjoining malacca strait now move to the south andaman sea uh, and it is likely to move north northwestwards further likely to intensify into a depression on 30th of november and then further it will intensify into a cyclonic storm in the next 48 hours in the adjoining southeast bay of bengal and this particular region so coming to the fisherman warnings you see for the next two days fishermen are not advised to venture into the areas of south andaman sea and uh, for the next and the, from the day 3 day 4 and day 5 that is from 30th to the 2nd of december fishermen are not advised to enter into the south bay of bengal region in the central west bay of bengal regions and if some fishermen are already into the sea please into the andaman and nicobar islands close to andaman they are advised to come back to the islands by today evening and furthermore when when the when the cyclonic storm is going to form fishermen are advised to come back before 1st of december in on the east coast part of the indian regions so thank you very much stay connected with our website and our social media platforms for weather updates thank you very much have a nice day